Let's talk about JSON files. All right, friends, back to the other ones more. And in this tutorial, we're going to be talking about JSON files. They are a foundational data type that you have to know in order to properly mod Minecraft. Now, as you are going to go through, let's say, the Minecraft tutorials or the Minecraft courses, you will, of course, also be introduced to the JSON files. However, it is quite important to get an introduction over here. So for this, in the project over here to the left, we're going to right click and make a new directory. I'm going to call this resources. And instead of there, we'll make the new file. As you can see, this is going to be the steve.json file. And the reason why we're doing it in a folder outside of our source and column draw folder is because the source and column draw folder can only contain, well, they can contain files, but they usually do not contain files. So you should definitely put your JSON files outside of the S SRC or source folder. That is a big thing. Now, what are we going to do? Well, a JSON file always starts with an open curly bracket and a closed curly bracket. This is the entire JSON file and the curly brackets basically usually denote a JSON object. So the entire thing over here is a JSON object. If I were to now, for example, put in the player name over here and then call this Steve, right? Now I have a JSON field. This would be a key value pair, right? So this being the key, this being the value, and this basically being a string in this case, which is pretty interesting. Now I can also add a multiple ones, right? I can add a level over here, let's say 15, right? Now this is of course an integer. Well, well, this is a string that is all handled basically. Now, when I have an inventory, for example, what I can do is I can make this an object, right? So let's say we have another object over here and this is going to be now an object. So we can now add multiple different things in here as well. So for example, maybe we have something like a weight over here, right? And that's going to be like 100. Or maybe we have a list of items, right? So this is another thing. And that is a list in JSON files. A JSON list is denoted with these brackets right here. And then inside, you can either put singular items, right? So you could have like a sword, right? And then a shield, something like that. That works. Or you can put further objects into this as well. So that would then look kind of like this. So that would be a name, let's say a diamond sword, right? And that has, let's say, a durability of 1,562. Why not? And then we can have another one, right? So let's call this the, this is going to be name of the iron armor over here in this case. And let's say protection. It doesn't really matter whether or not this is like actually applicable to Minecraft one to one. But, you know, it's just a, it's just a way of taking a look at this. And maybe we have another thing over here, right? So there's going to be another one name an ender pearl for example right and we have a count of let's say 12 of them all right so you can see a list is always denoted with the brackets while an object is always denoted with the curly brackets let's take a look at another example so you could for example have a location over here that is going to be an object again and this basically just this just has three different values over here like three different value pairs right something like this let's say so you can have a location right this is an object x y and z over here in this case and let's say at the very end over here we also have is creative mode and that might be false for example now once again this is not exactly how minecraft does it this is just an example that is minecraft related so hopefully that you understand this the json files are a way of saving data now usually player data is not saved in a json file but what is saved in a json file could be things like certain items and there are things for items that are very important that are saved in JSON files, like where the item texture is and things like that. So there are very important things used in JSON files. What I basically want to just show you are the three different things, right? The JSON objects, which are denoted by the curly brackets, the JSON fields, which are just key value pairs, right? Le the name of it is level or the key is level while 15 is the value. And then the lists, which are denoted by the brackets. Honestly, not too complicated over here, but it is still an important and interesting interesting thing to have seen. But that's actually already it for this tutorial. Next time in this video, we'll finish out with all of the things we haven't discussed and a few more hope to see you there. So yeah.